Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're having our second look at the KH-47 M2 Kinjal, Russian hypersonic weapon. We're looking at its potential effectiveness in our fictitious Ukraine and see which defenses could be placed to defend against the Kinjal. First of all, in case you're not familiar with the Kinjal, it was a Russian weapon brought out in 2017. It's this guy here. And the design philosophy behind it was to create a weapon that could defeat any contemporary defense system. So American Naval Aegis, American Patriot Pac-3, American THAAD, and so on. Now, could it actually do that in real life? Well, no one really knows, and we'll probably never find out. But we do our best to simulate it. So here is the KH-47 M2. Maximum speed, as we've got it, Mark 10. Impact speed around Mark 5. Maximum range, as we've got it, just over 200 miles. In real life, it could do more like 1,000 miles. In terms of the defense systems that we've already tested it against, we've already put it up against the United States Navy Aegis system, and it had mixed results. To be honest, if anything, it tended to confuse the Aegis system. Today, we're going to put it up against American and European land-based defense systems. Here's our setup today. It's really simple. The target in our fictitious Ukraine is a power station surrounded by power station type things. The first line of defense against Kinjal will be this guy here, self-propelled Gepard. These are already in Ukraine, supplied by, I think it was Germany. Now we've already received videos, real life videos, of these shooting down Russian cruise missiles. Yes, contact! Subsonic caliber missiles so we know they can shoot down cruise missiles now can they shoot down a hypersonic missile i highly doubt it but we're going to try that so the first iteration will be trying gepard the next iteration will be this guy iris t sls again from germany they have supplied a variation of this to ukraine already at least four batteries of iris t slm here we've got the shorter range 20 mile version the sls and if that fails, we're bringing in the American Pac-3 Patriot. Is it likely that America will ever supply Patriot to Ukraine? Almost certainly not. But they did toy with the idea at one point. Patriot comes in two variations, Pac-2 and Pac-3. The Pac-2 is the longer range anti-aircraft variant. And Pac-3 is the anti-missile variant. Although they do have areas of overlap. Each Pac-3 launcher has 16 Pac-3 missiles. The range is about 30 miles to give them the best chance of intercept as possible, we've set them to alarm state red to make sure they're up and ready to fire. We've given them the maximum skill level of excellent. They are obviously defending this power station here. The aggressor is 70 miles away is where the missiles will be fired. It is a Tu-22M3M carrying four Kinjals. It will fire them at 70 miles. The missiles will track and try and hit the power station and the defense systems will try and defend. I've been really tempted to test this out to see what the effect would be, but I really hate scripting missions, so I haven't tested it out. I've tested each out individually against subsonic missiles, and all of these systems do shoot the subsonic missiles down. Oh, and there'll be a final test, just so that my pilots have something to do. At the end, once we've done the test, what we're going to do is a bit of fun. We're going to take some legacy Russian flankers here with old iron bombs. We're going to start 20 miles away in the shadow of a mountain, and we're going to try and attack the power station against the Gepard, the RST, and the Pac-3 Patriot to see if anyone can get through. There is no scientific value in that at all. That will just be for fun. Guys, we need to make predictions now. Kinjal, fired from 70 miles away, do you think either Gepard, RST, SLS, or Pac-3 Patriot, any of them stand a chance of stopping these missiles? I think the Pac-3 Patriot should be able to do it. Yeah, we have a both like the detection range is not that big like the travel distance of the king jar is so high it's a very close alert time or yeah, short, the short alert range time. stuff it's not gonna be like computer solution is it mm -hmm. the time it gets there so yeah patriot half a chance the rest nah yeah patriot half a chance win. depending on the altitude of the missile all right guys and um, we've set them up as we've been told to set them up by real patriot operators with the patriot behind a target with the iris t in front of the target and with the gepards at or just in front of the target standby first will be gepard only okay first test we've got three gepards just outside uh let's see what happens i'm pausing now okay backfire is being a backfire look at those lovely blue afterburners 
Oh yeah, I like that so much. Go after Burner. <laughs> you just put the afterburner out again. Look at those lovely King Charles value views. In fact, it's weird, these booster sections, they, well, you'll see in a minute, they, they fall off as soon as the, play, the missile is launched. I don't understand that. But I don't really understand anything about King Charles. I can't find any useful, really, you know, good information about them. There he goes. Deeper aerodynamics. All right. It's the ignition system, I don't know. Right. Oh, it, it just fall off after, like, the booster stage. All right, King Charles now. Okay, you handsome little missile. How good is it in real life? I would love to know. I've watched a couple of videos about hypersonic missiles and the challenges with developing hypersonic missiles. It's really problematic. It's not, they're not gonna lock very high because we're only firing at 70 miles. In fact, this is gonna be the quickest 70 miles you've ever seen, I think, guys. Right, 4,000 knots, what's that? Divided by 600 is Mark. I can't do it. I can't do it, it's fast. Mark six, probably. There's a target. Already we've done 70 miles. That's ridiculous of this system. Right, I'm gonna try and switch to the other view. Can I see it? Yes, Ooh, I can see it coming. See it coming. Ah! Oh, we're turning on. Ah! Come on, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> No chance. Where's the missile, guys? Where's the missile? Yeah. Look, Gephardt turned. He tried to fire. Did you see Gephardt turret? He tried to fire. Yeah. He just spun He's around. For it. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this a multiplayer yeah. value viewers, so we're we're really testing it to us. Okay, let's see what happened. 60 nautical miles, missiles come off. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, Mach is seven. Mach six. six impact. Yeah, Mach six impact. About, yeah, Mark. Oh, shit. It's Mark six impact. Wow. Imagine seeing that thing coming towards you. Now, in real life, apparently there's a footage, uh, I've seen it, of a real one being fired, and it, it lights up the whole sky because of its plasma field. It creates a pla it compresses the air in front of it and creates a plasma field, which is the major problem with hypersonic missiles, why it gets so hot and they just melt themselves, basically. Just like a meteorite, when it comes in, it, it has a huge fiery plasma field around it because that's going hypersonic as well. Hypersonic missiles do the same. So these are anything but stealthy, really. You, they light up the whole sky. So you'd see them coming like a meteorite, but Stopping them is the problem. We saw Gepard spinning around. This little turret was spinning around, but he couldn't get a solution. So getting a ballistic solution is the problem. Okay, round two. We'll leave the Gepards in here, but we know they haven't got the reaction time. This time, we've got the German supplied Iris T SLS, range about 20 miles. There are 16 missiles in there. They have the giraffe radar, and they have the missile launchers. They are set to alarm state red, which means they'll be ready to fire as soon as I unpause the mission, and there will be maximum skill level. So I've done everything I possibly can. So the giraffe should unpack and start spinning. We use them in Britain. Please unpacking. work. Yeah, it's unpacking. Just takes a few seconds, as you can see, but it should be done well in time before King Jar. There yeah, you go. I have still a look on the plane. It's there, look. It still hasn't fired yet. Good. Nope. Still on. Giraffe is erect and ready to fire. Right. That backfire hasn't fired. Okay. And there we go. No Off fire. King Jar. All right, guys, this should be interesting. I can't get over how quickly these things do 70 miles, guys. It's friggin' astonishing. Why doesn't the nose melt? Um, I think it uses, i am probably got it wrong, I always get it wrong, but I think it uses the fuel to cool the nose so the, the nose doesn't melt. The same way, like a Saturn V rocket nozzle works, it's actually the nozzle is full of fuel. That's why it doesn't melt. I thought it was made of vibranium. Vib vibranium. <laughs> I love vibranium. All right, concentrate, guys. Vibranium. Here we go. Oh, I see the fireball. Fire, 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 please. Come on, Iris T. Yep. German technology is not going to fire. It's not firing. Shoot it. Everything Shoot it. Oh, it's fire. Oh, it's fire. It's fire. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Oh, Go well. on. I tried. I got two. I want you to know. I got three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did not expect that, guys. Through. Wow. One got That was through. kind of the same with the naval assets, so the first one right? got, got through on the naval naval assets also. I was not expecting it's that. Just, and, you know, computation thing? Or? I don't know, guys. We're going to have a look. But I repeat, value viewers, everything was set to maximum. It was all ready to go, and it was set to maximum, kind of cheap level. So, all right, let's go and have a look at the, uh, the review. All right, now that was genuinely impressive. I mean, how close that is to real life, I don't know, but we're sure as close as we can get to open source at least. When did it fire? Okay, it fired at three miles. Where's the G load? They're not putting any G. Yes, this one's at 20 G, that one's at no G because it's going for a different missile. Pang, look at that, look how close that got. It did bloody well. That's can impressive. Can you, like, 
get the distance when you mark both missiles? Yes, I can. 63 feet. It got within 63 feet of the missile, which should almost be enough. It, to s just didn't quite get close it, enough, guys. Jam the Wes cap. Jam the Wes. I'm all about jamming the Wes. And then that sucker got through. And these ones, the other ones worked, which I'm really surprised about. Pop. I don't know, I can't speed up now. Pop. How about that, viewers? Now, one thing, these missiles, at least in their terminal guidance, they're guided by IR. And though you could not ask for a bigger heat source, right? A 2,000 Celsius plasma cloud, you couldn't ask for a, for a bigger heat source. So in terms of locking onto the heat, that would have been easy. But I'm genuinely impressed about those reaction times. Pack 3, Patriot, everything set to God mode, basically. Red alert, red state alert, whatever it's called, and maximum uh, God mode skill level. Right, okay, yep. unpacking. There's your radar. I've removed the RST because I don't want to mess the results up. All right. Everything's done. A big Kinjals. Kinjal, I think, means dagger. Presumably in Russian? I don't know. I guess so. Now he's turned and fired. Boom. Go, missile. Go. We're going to accelerate. All right. Oh, look, his little booster nozzle bit came off. I guess it's just a booster, that bit at the back. Right, now this Patriot has the ability to fire much further away, after about 30 miles of pack 3, so... Uh, I'm, I'm watching the pack 3. Right, yeah, well... Right. Quickest 70 miles in the world, about to terminate. Yep, there's a the target. Right, switching to pack 3. Looking for pla plasma spotted. It's not... No, it would have fired by now, guys. Would have fired. Come on. Yeah! Pack go. three! Look at him bend! <coughs> it's missed. It's missed. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, got oh, it! Oh, I got it! it. Whoa! Oh, the second, one second one got through. Then the third, through. fourth got through. It had a try, guys. It had a try. Now the big question, if we combine both, does it get all missiles? All right, valued viewers, we've got now a mixed assets. Pack three, Patriot set to like God mode. And we've got Iris T SLS and Gepard set to God mode. I'm pausing, let them unpack. I wonder how close to real life we are, valued viewers. Oh, who knows? I mean, everything, everything here is protected information. So it's all, you know, what you can get off wiki, basically. Plug in the details and hope the thing models it right. Searching. But Captain, put anything on the internet that's not true. Oh, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. And we are the arbiters of truth, so. Okay. Certainly honest. I like the monsters. It's right. my truth. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Don't you start. Don't you start with Mrs. Markle. All right, here we go, guys. Where's the freaking target? I'm I, a just truth love, I just love how quickly it does 70 miles. That friggin. There is. Right, switching to Patriot Camp. No plasma field, no plasma field. Yeah, it's huh? very sad. Plasma field! <sighs> oh my god! Imagine being in that friggin' building! Save and the power plant! Moving! Patch. Fired no, two missiles. Words! Words! Ah! ah oh, fire escape! And, and, and down! Yeah! done it. It's done it. Head two. Head cut on. Right. Wow. We defended Ukraine. It worked, guys. They talked to each other. They deconflicted targets as best they could, and it did it. Wow, we. I'm super chuffed about that. So, all you got to do to defend a power station in Ukraine is have pack three launchers in the right direction, in the right place, ready to fire with the best crew available in the world, as well as Iris T, SLS, best crew in the world, set up, ready to fire, all ready to go in the right direction, as well as a backup Gepard platoon, and you can protect a power station from four Kinjals. That's science. Tell me that's not freaking science, guys. In fact, let's go look at the attack for you. Sure. Yeah, did you notice, Cap, that your first Patriot missile actually killed not only the Kinjar, but two of the RSTs? <laughs> <laughs> Even if you did hit that missile, because I remember in 1991, the Scuds over break Kuwait? Yeah. Um, we're getting hit by Patriot, old, the old Patriot, but the missile just carries on. It's like, okay, you've hit me and my guidance is gone. I don't care. I'm a ballistic missile anyway. I'll just carry on and it still did the same amount of damage. I wonder if you hit something 
as heavy as Kinjal at Mark 6, is it not just going to carry on and do pretty much just as much damage anyway? What is it, four tons just, worth of metal? Yeah, just kinetically it would shred the But if it, if it even remotely causes that thing to tumble at that speed, it's going to instantly vaporize. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, fair point. With that pressure in heat, it just could like vaporize in like 10 meters mm -hmm. because of uh, aerody uh, aerodynamics. It was, the pack, it was the pack three that got it. And then you're right, the pack three did then blow up. The IRST's. Huh. And then uh, what happened over the, here? The IRST did kill the third missile. And then Pack 3 got the next one. Pop. Hang on, a VAR for this. VAR. Pack 3 got missile 3. I should say that's oh, a lot. Mark 3. I missed. That one Mark? missed. Look, got through. Yeah, let's go for the other one. How do you Mark spot that? I got it. Simba <laughs> spotted that somehow in real time, which is like as fast as heck. IRST got that one. Mark 3. Nearly Mark 4. For the yeah, Mark missiles six? are Mark Pack 3 and Mark 4, yeah. Wow, how about that? That's a Mark 10 closure rate. Yeah, it's a lot of money wasted on both sides as well, but okay, guys, that's the science done. Yes, if you put everything to perfect and put everything on, you can stop a salvo of four King Charles. Damn, you've got to have everything set up atomically perfect for that to work. I mean, you say money, a lot of money wasted, but money well spent, I would have said, mm -hmm. keeping the people powered. Roger. I was thinking more about the Russians. I know these skin jars yeah. are oh. mega expensive. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. They built like 10 of the bloody things, so... I, I would say it's a good for us. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, we've done the science, fairly viewers. We're going to do sillies now. Okay, welcome into the City Bit Valley viewers. We're going to see if some legacy Russian platforms with legacy Russian dumb bombs can attack the target. Obviously, the answer is no, so I don't even know why we're trying, but there you go. We're starting in a nice, safe, nice, safe zone. 20 miles north, as soon as we're past this mountain, we'll no longer be in a safe zone. You've got to go south, 180 for 20 miles. It's on waypoint one. We've got to put at least one bomb on the power station, guys. That's what you've got to do. How do you do it? You can't pop up because you'll die. So I suggest going to air to ground mode, putting launch authority on and just dropping it at 50 feet and accepting you're going to take yourself out. Does anyone think they stand any chance at all of doing this? No. No, no. chance. We'll do I it. shall hmm? go out with my shield. Hmm. Or return um, on it. I'll take a buckler. Cap, remember mm. I said it's unusual nice of you mm. that yeah. we are behind a mountain? Yes. Why well, I have a feeling we all run into a mountain in a second. Yes, there could be that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe you will. I will be fine. We're all going to hit each other before. You guys talk too much. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Oh, thanks for the warning. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, uh, exactly yeah. how I thought it will happen. <laughs> Get, Get another one. one. Get another one. After that, no respawning. We'll do it round based. Right, guys, press 7 for air to ground. Press launch authority. That's it. We're ready to drop. <coughs> Sorry, value viewer. I still can't really get rid of this awful infection. Right, here I go, guys. Follow me. I'll take you awesome. to freedom. Launch through explosion. You've flown through your own explosion. I'm so proud of you guys. A sarcasm in case you didn't set the tone. Okay, we're picking up some radiation. All right, yeah. I got launch authorized. Oh, wires. Right, we're within Wes, so we've got to be a little bit careful now. Now, these SAMs are good, but they can't see through, you know, even on God mode, they can't see through stuff, and that there is a bunch of stuff. Someone's just gone straight past me. Fine, find your own friggin' way there. If anyone knows how to use the waypoint system, you can leave. Just, oh, Tally River. There's your river. Looking for the power Launch station. Authorized. Pack three's out. It can see us, and it's not on me. <laughs> Super cap. On speed. Okay, go towards the pack three. That's where it is, right? Anyone dead yet? Retro. How embarrassing for you. You flew not good. Yeah, I think it's just blown its own power station up. I see something on fire out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you pack three. Oh, I left the Kinjals on. I le <laughs> wow. We'll, we'll pop the wreck. <laughs> oh, 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 God, I feel so sick. we win. Um, minor error. Uh, BRB. Don't be overconfident. <coughs> I'm quitting. It's your own No, but I'm going to be oh, six so No, it was your own fault if your computer crashes. Oh. <laughs> you, you want me to turn the Kinjals off, guys? 
Right. That was insane how quickly they actually got there. I didn't realize, you know, when, right? obviously when we were watching it, it was quick, but we were just flying on all of a sudden, boom. Mm -hmm. Right, witness I this. The perfect line. Late activation. And, and, and look like the distance we need mm -hmm. to go and that freaking missile get. get. <sighs> what the freaking hell? I'm going to leave you to join in when you're ready, Brett. Try the rest of you. Don't respond if you die. I'm starting three, two, one. Look at me give you a warning. Aren't I a nice young man? Jammer on. Air to ground on. Launch authority on. All right, guys. No King Charles. Let's do it. Does anyone think King Charles sounds like Launch King authorized. Charles? It does to me. <coughs> Maybe you have a King Charles. It's the Dutch missile, is it? All right, humanoids. That is your real species. Pretty sure it's not for some of you. Let's go and friggin' do this. Maybe. But Maybe does anyone remember the... Well, once we've got round the mountains, does anyone remember the vector of the missiles are coming up? Launch authorized. I think it was like 170, question mark? Sounds about right. Roughly, yeah. Right, I'm hitting the freaking deck. Problem with Flanker Valley viewers? Wings are too freaking big. I'm never gonna get through these. Never gonna get through these. Launch authorized. Words. Launch all about. Authorized. This woman won't shut up. Words. Launch authorized. She's just going on and on about launch authorized. Launch authorized. It's all about blocking the line of sight to the SAM Valley viewers. Is that the as it is in Ukraine at the moment? Where everyone's flying around at 50 launch feet? Launch authorized. Because it's the only way they can survive. Launch authorized. Well, slightly longer than normal. Right, I'm basically lost, so I'm hoping you'll Launch follow me. Uh, look on your tit, it gives you a direction. Oh, Launch nice, Simba! Authorized. That's my Simba! Launch I've only been playing the game for seven and a half years, how am I supposed to know? Again, that's sarcasm. That is treetop level. In fact, what's it when you flow below treetop? What does that become? Tree stump level. Insane. <laughs> ludicrous speed, ludicrous height. Let's say that's graveyard flying. So the RF used to fly, valley viewers, and had tornadoes and the buccaneers. We went oh, scraping shit, back in the cold war. It was the only way to survive. We've gone a little bit too far left. No, I don't. Remember, when you get there, don't try to do a fancy pop up, you'll get blasted by Gepard. Just go smacking into it, basically. Don't even think about surviving, because that won't happen. Launch oh, authorized. Well, apparently I'm getting close, guys. Launch authorized. Something about launch authorized. I think she's telling us that the missiles have launch authorized. Uh oh, oh. down. Here we go. Missile out. RST. <coughs> Sucker bend. <coughs> oh, retro down. Retro down. Flares will help, so use flares, guys. Right, now that's exactly where that place is, so... Oh, Farda's dead. Farda's dead. Use the smoke, guys, use the smoke. I think my body on the other use your flares. Way. I know, but help. Oh, no! Launch. Oh, Back you were down. close. I was very close. I, I think less speed, more next control. Year. Less speed, more control, guys. How could that possibly see me? Eject. Bollocks! Eject. I was right behind a tree. I hate everything. <laughs> Go on. I like what Cannonball. Go I like on, what Cannonball's doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Go on, bird. Cannonball. Cannonball uses his big brain. We've got brains in GR. Tim is close. Yes! I got visual. Bird is right there! The one with my bird! Hey! That was your own friggin' phone! Oh, Simba! Get on! Keep going, Simba, that's an order! <laughs> keep going! God damn it, keep flying the damn theme! Oh, nearly. No oh, cannon Oh, God damn it! One more go! Stand by. I was so close, I hit the wrong building. I hit the building next to it. Nobber. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, that's enough. I'm doing what Bird did. I'm going around the flank. That S works. <coughs> Just don't hit the ground by doing sleepers. Right. I'm gonna use some um, fuel up as well to lock myself. This thing weighs a friggin' ton. I'd stop all this and shoot, silly. Silly. You're not doing it, middle sim. All right, viewers, I'm using my noggin this time. Look at me use my noggin. Launch authorized. Something about launch authorized. All right, oh, it's on a river, I'm so dizzy. I'm going left this time. I'm going to find the river and I'm going to use the river just like Bird did with his big bird brain. We're humans. Until he's back the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah. Run out of skill. Yeah. Sweet, someone sonic boomed me. 
Something about pull up. The trousers. Dry yeah, your my, eyes, my, mate. My Betty is not very happy. There's a freaking river. It's pretty it, much to your perpendicular to the. Ich möchte der Fluss. Visual. Do it, Simba Wimba. You get a pay rise from zero to zero if you get that bomb on target. But there'll be less beatings. Bye. Get off. How so are we ever going to improve morale if beatings don't continue? <laughs> there we go. Beatings, if anything, should be increased. Missile 12 oh, brilliant. I got a missile on me. I hate life. Oh, my bomb's landed short. I, oh, oh! I didn't do anything wrong. God. I don't see it. I don't right, see it. Right, look right. You can see smoke. Look right. Look right. Look right. Two o'clock. See that smoke coming up? That's it. Come on, fly. <coughs> no, you've gone too far right. Now go left. Look at the big river. Oh, fly, you make me so angry. It will make my infection worse. Slightly left. The, 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 the building. The, 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 the building. Drop I bomb. Drop bomb. I used my head. Fine. It sort of worked. It was a bit weird. It still worked. Retro, couple of degrees left on the nose. Left, 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 right! On the nose now. Get low. Uh, Get low! Uh, cannonball. Get low! Target's about uh, 12 miles to your right. Oh, Lord. You've gone way beyond. Fire Dad. On target. On target. Look for the chimneys, the four chimneys. Adam, visual. Please, please. Major launch authority is done and. Come on, come on! Drop the bombs! Yeah! Well done, sir. Well done. Oh, <laughs> Woo! Bird, bird entertainers. The fire dad did it. <coughs> <coughs> Someone trying to strafe the Patriot site. Plus, I'll see you all in hell and some stuff. Kind of Patriot cult. site, you said? Hmm, oh, okay. there's, there's no, uh, nothing else to blow up. Yay! We beat it. If you get behind it, Patriot can't actually shoot backwards because it's a friggin' nerd. <laughs> oh. It's a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of nerds. Mm-hmm. Incoming hey, cannonball. Yeah, look at him figure it out with his big cannibal brain. And he's gone over and failed to drop all his bombs. Well, I'm very proud of you. Again, Sarkozy. Strafe it, strafe it. Strafe it, strafe it. RST, RST cannibal! Oh, ah, shit, no! No! <laughs> well, you know what? Who was it who did it? Fire dead. Right, fire, fire dead. dead. You have a momentary suspense, a momentary suspension on your beatings, which you will be happy with. But don't worry, the beatings will come right back on the next mission. Guys, we've done science, and we've had some fun, and we've beaten basically God, because Iris T, SLS, plus these guys, and these are expanded versions, by the way, but I knew because I didn't want to make it easy for the boys, plus expanded Patriot on God mode, we managed to beat that shit. All fair and square, no cheats. Uh, anyone want to tell me how that makes them feel inside, apart from dead? I'm Warm just not going to get beat today. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm going to take your beatings for you, Fire Dad. No. You will. Yeah, I, I smell no, no, no. it. No, no. But I intentionally <laughs> drop, don't drop my it bombs means so I get beating. Cap won't beat you. Mm -hmm. He didn't say Simba won't beat you. He's going to take his belt Fire off. Oh. Right. Oh. On that valued viewer, oh. on that valued pilot note, viewers, uh, I'll see you later.